is the Karen on this one? Take a look at this. Oh, we got a Karen here. Taking a video of me burning boxes in front of my house, what I usually do. I've been doing it for years. Outside with the camera. Got what you needed? For years. Just because some UPS driver hit the damn thing doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. That doesn't make any sense. Well contained fire. No issues, no problems, no plastic. All cardboard. Burning. We're now 15 minutes later, sitting and waiting. This is how you want to live the last few years, just being a Karen, huh? And never mind your business about nothing. Innocent little fire. Don't want to make the garbage man's job too hard. So I burned all my cardboard. This is the first time in five years I've ever had an encounter. This is the first time in my life I've ever had a Karen encounter. But the only first time in five years of living here that I had to deal with this directly. It's funny. Fire, it's almost done. Still got my fan out here. Just lurking, finding an issue. Back in the day, we used to put like three rocks on the ground and have a whole fire. I don't know why you're mad at this. Back in the Stone Age, they used to just put three rocks on the ground and everybody used to be fine. Mad at me. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't want something like that going on in front of my house either. What about you? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is it rude to be in someone's home after working hours, even though you or your spouse schedule the appointment? Take a look. I am because I don't want to listen to this tonight and you're just... Crazy. I'm not trying to talk to you about it. I was just showing him the proposal yeah. we have scheduled. You need to be talking to him, to me. What's that? Yeah. Then Don't handle none of the bills, I do. Okay. Um, let me ask you a question. That electric bill you pay, yeah. would you would you agree with me that it's good to save money on a bill you're never able I don't to cancel? Want to talk about this right now. It's seven, nearly eight o'clock at night. Y'all shouldn't even be out doing this past We hour. we wouldn't be here if we didn't have an appointment with you. Jenna, did you make an appointment with them today? I told them we'd be back home. Don't for them to come by and show this. Not at no eight nine o'clock. It's seven thirty. You're being rude. I'm not being rude. I'm being very polite. I'm just doing my job. Okay, we'll go do your job somewhere else. Why don't we go something else? Okay. Thanks for your time. I hope you have I a better I evening. I wouldn't buy them from you tonight anyway. I don't think you would ever buy from us. I you, I sure you don't, you don't want to look at it. Okay. On a more serious note, that was bad sales. If that guy worked for me, he will be fired. What about you? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know whose side are you on on this one. Take a look at this. So it, because I will turn this plane back if I get you off. Don't do it. Don't press my button. <sighs> got the wrong one today. So I have you on video saying my wife has a stupid face. So You're being rude. 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 Since the moment of the back. Okay? Yes. Okay. At the beginning of the flight. All exits are clearly marked with a plane symbol. Arrows and Take the directions to the Please take a moment to find that exit closest to you, and remember, it might be behind you. It's a loss of power. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, I am filming, and I have all that on tape. And when you land in New York, I'm going straight to the gas relations. Use. Okay. No, you're fine. Okay. 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 Ok
sure to place that okay. if necessary. Now, before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are at resting position, and your tray table. Please take a moment to review the safety information okay, card, which is in your seat. Please get a moment to the cabin for our final safety check. Please let us know if you have any questions. Now, as we get ready for takeoff, please settle in and have a wonderful flight. Thank you for flying with them. Am I the only one that actually wanted to see the face of the wife after watching the whole clip? Let me know in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip to the end. And let me know in the comment section if this Walmart employee was on a power trip or he was simply doing his job. Take a look. You said they're on my backpack. They're on the receipt, correct? They're on the receipt, right? And you stopped us because you said I put them in my backpack. Well, I, That's not know, the only thing I, I stopped willingly, you for. I willingly opened up my backpack and showed you I put my prescription in here. Am I not allowed That's to put my prescription That's not the only thing I stopped you for. Okay. What is the other thing? One thing that I forgot to freaking pay for. It doesn't for. matter. What it doesn't matter well, if it's one penny. I'm going to get your information. I'm going to take your pictures. It's going to go in our database. Cool. Do whatever you need to. We're going to tell the cops exactly what happened. That's fine. Because you don't understand You're exactly be common sense. On this property anyway, so you don't need to worry about not ever wanting to shop here again. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. We spend a hundred dollars here, and this is what we get. Yeah. Cool. cool. Great customer service, man. Right. <laughs> you guys are nice. Yes. Wow. Do you think this is okay, ma'am? We shop here like multiple times a week. This is crazy. Do you think this is okay, Amanda? Really? The way we're being treated. Like, do we really look like shoplifters? Like, this is. I know the mask is like. There's, there's not a certain person. Okay, who but, like a but why I would we I spend hundred dollars here? I went in my backpack and showed him. I, I didn't. Why would we spend a hundred dollars and not spend one dollar on some dividers? He forgot. We'll pay for them. We happily came over here. No big deal. But like, we're not what, running away, this? we're just, why are you doing this to us? What did we do? We shop here multiple times a week. God, this is frustrating. Like he literally has everything accounted for and paid for. One thing that was inside of a binder to see if it fits. Yeah, we're human, we're shopping. I'm sorry, that's not the only thing on our mind. Like it was an accident. Well, we will gladly pay for it. Like, do you have something else going on in your brain or something? Yeah, like, do you have your own issues? Because this is a little ridiculous. No, seriously. Yeah. If you put, do you have something else going on? It, it, it was up an and seal it so that it's Okay, no. We you go to the register. binders. Go in the binder. Correct. Not that is what they're paid for. Okay, but things fall out of the cart. Correct. Do they not? I, I'm not. When you move it around shopping, things, things fall, fall out. out. We have things falling out here when we don't have this little flap up. They fall out. So I'm sorry that I wanted to keep it together. It's not meant to be concealed. Why would I pay for everything else? And not a dollar. And then not a dollar. That I makes no sense. The rules I was supposed to. Right over your head, bud. I ain't got nothing to apologize. Yeah, right over your head. I know. You should apologize you don't for the way that you're harassing customers that shop here every week. It's not going to happen. Okay, well, cool. I understand. You have a lot more going on in your life. I understand that. I do. So, I get it, man. I'm going to act like this towards people that have... No reason to do anything wrong. This is a joke. Hey guys. Hi. What's going on? So apparently they think that we stole things when we paid for a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Okay. Um. So I'm I'm a little. He said if I put my backpack and, yeah, and there's a receipt, everything's paid for. I showed him I have my prescription in my backpack. Am I not allowed to put that? It's paid for. Um, and so very he's accusing me of saying that I intentionally wanted to steal a two dollars worth of stuff when we just spent a hundred dollars here. Um, there, I forgot to take out these, what is it, uh, card binders that go into the binder, the dividers, the dividers you know, because I don't want things falling out of the cart. We have a bunch of stuff in the cart. There's no reason for us to spend a hundred dollars. I spent twenty dollars on a bag of candy. Why would I? Why would I spend all this money on something and then feel the need to steal something? Okay, guys. Okay. We're going to figure it out, okay? I know, I'm just, I'm a little livid because we this has never happened to us and then we have two days off we'll together. Out, okay? This is really stressful right. for us to okay. go through this. Okay. And he has no caring. Okay. Do you guys have any idea to stay and talk to you? <laughs>
We're gonna figure it out, don't worry guys. Stressful. We'll get it figured out, guys. No worries. I really hope so, because this is the only last day off we ever have together. We're 24 7, so it's like. Oh, you know, I saw you. I saw you. I didn't really open my back. What are you talking about? Yeah. Just know that somebody calls the police. We have to show up. I understand. I understand. Yeah, we, we have like nothing to hide, okay. so it's it's very frustrating. And he's just very okay. being. So is the issue just oh, the playing yeah. card? Yeah, it's just the binder. I just kept it in there because I didn't want to lose like, it. We will gladly you know? pay for it. We didn't like. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be stressful on you. It's just we're a little stressed out. Thank you. We'll get this figured out, guys. No worries. She's really irritating. The whole way you handled it. Yeah. He's very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. He, he thinks we're like we're, we're thieves. Like we go around everywhere and stuff. Here, like all the time we spend. <laughs> like right across the street. Oh, we do. Like, what's the reason for that? Sorry. So whatever he does, are we able to return all this? Because we're at that point. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want to shop here ever again. Yeah, we don't even want to come back. Yeah, we're the way we've been treated, to be honest. Because in the way he was talking to us, he like sounded like he just wants us to be on the trespassing list because of one little thing that I forgot. And so, absolutely, we will gladly pay for yeah. it if it didn't. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. Like, why would we buy, spend twenty dollars on candy and? <laughs> It just makes sense. Right over his head. Right over his head. Gosh. It's outrageous. Half our day is gone. Yeah. Thank you, Walmart. Crazy people. I'm literally gonna have like anxiety about shopping now. I know. She's being so. Yes. Right out. Yeah, I know. It's pathetic, really. It's unprofessional. Yeah, she's a really bad anxiety disorder, so this is really not okay for her. Yeah, Like, this is really not okay. 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 Uh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to do Alright, here's the situation, yes. Okay. Yep. We, gotta, we gotta figure it out. We've got a good discussion about what have happened, okay? okay? Obviously you know that playing cards left the Did you all notice that the last three seconds of the clip, the police officer mentioned a playing card, which means it wasn't only a binder that the customers stole. Let me know in the comment section if you noticed. Karen gets put in her place by her next door neighbor. Take a look. We'll wait for the cops together because technically I can play my music until nine o'clock. Read your lease. Then go ahead and do it. Then don't have nobody knocking on my goddamn door. When your music is too when my I don't got music, it's not. Let everywhere. me tell you something. Mind your business. If Jody Mind calls, your business. If Jody calls, Mind your business. I don't get Jody, she don't have nothing to do with this. I'm talking about you. I don't want to hear your music right now. I don't want to hear you. Don't Michael. have nobody knock Michael. on my goddamn door no Michael. more. Do you understand? Oh my God. Michael. Do you understand? Or I'm a on site. Oh, oh. You understand that? Tell the cops that. You Michael. knock on my door. Get away from me. No. Michael, my you, you, you so goddamn bad? No, I'm not. Okay, well then don't have nobody knock on my door no more. Michael, Do you understand? 
Do you understand? Call Michael. Michael. Call Michael. Call him. Get him right. Get him right. Karen met her match this time. Don't you think? Please take your time to watch this clip to the end. You won't believe the outcome. Take a look. Hey, I live in the neighborhood. My Wi-Fi name is 1744. Your wife is cheating. I don't know how you did not catch on. Your address is 1744. But every day when you leave for work, a Nissan parks three houses down, walks up the side of your house, goes in your back door. I'm assuming you don't have cameras back there. Okay, your wife is smart, but she is unfaithful. I'm going to walk this way, but I don't live this way. Hello? Hey, I just wanted to apologize for last night. I know I probably shouldn't have broke the news like that, but I had a few drinks. Are you the guy that changed his Wi-Fi name to 1744 Wife is Cheating? Yes, I thought I was being clever by using your address. I thought you'd catch on. It was stupid, but no, dude, she is cheating. Every time you go to work, I see this guy walk up the side of your driveway and go into your back door. Okay, so you got a few things wrong there. Um, the wife is the one that's actually driving and going to work, and the guy is for me, and yes, he does come in my back door. Oh, ooh, ooh, wow, all right, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, I mean, thank you, though. Like, I really didn't have the courage, and this is actually life-changing. Hey, right, I'm very glad I could help, and I'm also sorry at the same time. All right, have a good one. I'm 100% sure that no one was expecting the shocking outcome at the end. Right? Let me know what you think in the comment section.